What's up, y'all? I want to make a video about these uh, Tokai MM9 switches and how they work. Uh, Hiros Run, which is how he says it, uh, made a video about the weirdest switches, and this was one of them. And it piqued my interest because evidently no one really confirmed how it worked. So I got my hands on some. He kind of pointed me in the right direction. I got some and I figured the shit out. It's not as complicated as it seems. Um, I took a look at the patent once I figured it out, went back and looked at it and it makes a lot more sense. And I'll put a link to that in the, um, in the description. So this is a switch. They used it for arcade machines, I guess. So it's a push button switch. And if you can see, it has kind of a double action where it goes down, stops, and then it's a little bit stiffer to go all the way down. Cool. So I'm going to open this thing up. We'll take a look. And I'll show you the magic. So we have the ball in there. It's a little ball bearing kind of thing. And hopefully I won't lose it. There is a spring, which I don't know if you can see this, but it is actually tapered. So towards the top, near my fingers, it's wider than at the bottom and then the push button <coughs> now this is not the clicky version evidently there is a clicky version this is not it um, so the other thing is inside of there there's a groove for where the spring sits and if you'll notice it's not exactly circular and then there's this little thing and I'll show how that plays into it as well. So essentially spring sits in here if I can keep focus ball sorry I'm running on my laptop which I don't have many options for this fucking video but whatever. Ball goes in there pushes down against that thing and let me just fix this shit so we can get good focus okay I have a dog so ignore any dog hair anyway um so one thing you'll notice is the ball on that little spring kind of moves around pretty freely. The spring moves with it. It's not just the ball moving. That is important. Shit. So on here you have the two contacts. Then you also have that triangle wedge thing which is important. If you'll notice there's some lube on there. So the orientation is that little groove goes between the contacts. Let me see if I can do this. You can actually see how the whole thing works with the top off if you do it just right. So alright this is a little bit tricky but I did it for it. Okay. Check this out. Focus. So when it's held in place by the top case, uh, meaning it's aligned correctly, the ball actually sits on top of that wedge. So 
excuse the shitty production. I'm not Hirosran. Uh, and the foul language. I am just, I fucking cuss a lot. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, yeah, there we go. So when it's aligned correctly, that little bar on the actual stem pushes it back so it's not touching the contacts. And when you push it down, that tapered spring lets it follow the ball. Just barely making any turn, but lets it roll down where that lube is and make contact. Can you see that slight little movement? Unfortunately, there's no holes in the front backs or sides, so that's the only angle we get, but let me see if I can do it like this. So no contact, contact, no contact, contact. Yeah, cool. So one of the ways I figured this out was when you first push it, there is not much um, pressure required. And then when you push it to actually make um, actuation, it's much more. So I realized when you're first pushing down, you're only pressing the spring down. The next part is you're actually, well, first of all, there's more tension from the spring, but also it is, uh, again, sorry for the fucked focus. It is pushing down on that wedge, so it's making contact against the plastic, and that's more pressure required. So easy pressure, or not much pressure required, and then you actually go down. There's more to push the ball forward and make actuation. That focus is driving me crazy, probably all as well. But it's a pretty cool design. Uh, I like it. It feels nice. I got a bag of them from China to the U.S. pretty quickly. Um... But yeah, it feels, feels pretty nice. So I guess the reason for that is for video games and shit, you can stage it without accidentally pressing it so it's not too sensitive. You can press down a little bit and then press it when you want to. Ta-da, later.